Wednesday. So we have meditation group this evening at 7.30. Um, we're doing it via Zoom. So for anyone who wants to join, I'll share the link a little later and you can just sign up and join and meditate with us if that's something you would like to do. Um, we also, Seed to Start, we're having a raffle this week and we are um, splitting the proceeds from the raffle between Seed to Supporting Seed to Star because we're still paying rent, but we're not really working there and some of the practitioners aren't really able to do much work at all. Our hands-on work can't really happen right now. So we have this awesome raffle this week to win this amazing rock. It's better just for local people to win it because it would cost a lot of money to ship it. But it's this like 14 pound stone that has green tourmaline in it, which is like, oh, I love me some green tourmaline. Um, and I think lipidolite, which is also a really great stone um, in some in some quartz. It's just beautiful. So go to the Seed to Star page if you want to enter the raffle. Tickets are $10 and um, the pro proceeds are going to go half to us and half to a local nonprofit that's doing really great work with trauma impacted youth. Uh, so, and families right now. So, so good morning, Jennifer. If you're interested in that and interested in supporting the community, that's what we have going on this week. So I'm gonna do today, so we have the full moon in Scorpio. Depending on your time zone, it'll either be tonight, tomorrow very early in the morning, or a little later in the day, because it happens all around the world. So um, the full moon in Scorpio is coming, and I'm doing the reading that's in my Biddy Tarot Planner. So it's a six card reading. Oh, good morning, Patty. Thank you for buying a ticket. I appreciate that. Um, so it's gonna be six cards. And the way I do these is I will pull, sometimes I pull just for me, but I'm gonna pull for the collective today. So if you're watching this and you don't have your own tarot deck or don't feel like playing along, the cards I'm pulling are for everyone. Good morning, Rebecca. Um, however, if you do have cards, tarot or oracle cards, it doesn't matter, I'm using a tarot deck, but you can pull along with me. So go grab your deck if you wanna play along. I'll read the questions out. There's gonna be six cards that we pull. All right, so I'll read through the questions once just so you know what we're pulling for. Some readers like to know which card they're pulling and some don't and then I'll read them again as I turn them over so we know what the reading is but this is full moon and Scorpio reading to really help us do some deeper work to dive deeper into what is really getting in the way of our transformation and what's blocking us from accessing what we really most desire Scorpio is passionate it goes deep into the depths and so let's look and see where we can shed some light um, in order to to unlock more of who we actually are and actualize that in our lives so the first question is going to be, what have I discovered about who I am in the last six months? Six months ago, we had a new moon in Scorpio. That's how the moon cycles work. New moon, six months later, full moon, which is sort of the culmination of anything you started during that new moon. All right. So the first question, what have I discovered about who I am in the last six months? The second question, how can I more fully live every moment? The third question, where do I need to be more present? The fourth question, what intense emotions are coming up for me now? Whew, I'm feeling this. The fifth question is going to be, how can I cultivate my passions? And the sixth question, what do I need to release in order to experience deep transformation? Full moons are also about release because after the moon is full, it starts to wane. The light decreases for two weeks back into the new moon, which is the moon we don't see. Um, so it's time to do release work. All righty. So May 7th, full moon. Let's do our reading. 
One, what have I discovered about who I am in the last six months? If y'all have your decks, you can play along if you want. And the way I'm laying my cards out are like one, two, three, four, five, six. But you don't have to lay them out that way. Just pull six cards, all right? Or know that the cards I'm pulling are for everyone. So what have I discovered about, what have we discovered about who we are in the last six months? Oh, I love this. And I'm using my Mystic Mondays tarot deck, if anyone's wondering. The Fool. This is the fool. The fool is someone that has, is learning to trust, to not have to have a plan, to deal with the curveballs that life throws with a little more playfulness, with a little more trust. Um, the fool says we've been open to, to going in some new directions, to being open to following our hearts more than in the past, um, and to engaging with, with playfulness some more. So that's beautiful. And if you're pulling along, feel free to share what you're getting. So this is our full moon and Scorpio reading. Oh, I have my very appropriate Scorpio mug today. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, number two, number two for our full moon and Scorpio reading. How can I live more fully? How can we? live more fully in every moment. I love this, the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is connected to her passions. Wands is the suit of passions, desire, our creative energy. Where are we focusing our creative energy? The Queen is grounded, connected, honoring what she most desires. She has no shame around claiming what she wants. She's connected to her body, to her senses, to nature. She's very much aware of what she wants and is, is ready to sort of stake her claim. Do you see how she's got her foot here? Like that, that hill, that mountain even was not an obstacle. She's just like this, I want this. So this will open us up to more fully living every moment. If we honor what we most want, what do I want in this moment, in this moment? Forget about those super big questions. What do I want in 20 years? Just practice honoring what you want. Like right now, I wanted a sip of coffee. So yeah, I'm doing my reading. But when I want a sip of coffee and my body says my throat's a little dry and I'm a little thirsty and I don't want this coffee getting cold, Y'all can wait while I have my sip of coffee because I want it. So access that queen of wands, okay? Claim that queen within you. Crown yourself, y'all. This will open you up to living more fully in each moment. That is an invitation that the Scorpio energy brings us. Be real. Be present. Claim what you want. Number three, where do I need to be more present? Oh God, I love it too. The three of cups. This one shows up for me a lot. The three of cups. I need to be more present in my connections, my partnerships, my celebrations. I need to be more present in what unites me, what brings me a sense of love and belonging. Be more present for those in your life that truly nourish you. Be more present for the the momentary celebrations. This fact that I can like coffee for me is a morning ritual. Showing up for the moments of connection that truly are mutually beneficial, right? Everyone is being nourished by that heart. And I love how that heart is a rainbow because love is a spectrum. Our own unique expressions are a spectrum. And so we don't have to ask this person over here to be red while we're blue, just to feel that connection, right? We can let each person show up as they are and still share a thread of connection between us. All right, Whew, this is a good reading, I like it. Okay, next, what intense emotions are coming up for me now? What intense emotions are coming up for me now? Oh, okay, 
Six of Pentacles. Now this card doesn't seem too intense actually, but some of the deeper layers with the Six of Pentacles is a card of stability, of success, of juggling all the balls. Um, a lot of times there's a honeycomb energy with this card of like coming together to create something stable. In this card, she's seated, she's in repose. In some decks, it's a card of like a rich person giving alms to the poor. Now, so some of the intensity that can come up with that is our inability to receive this. Like a lot of people will look at this card and be like, wow, that's so nice to be so relaxed while you have six balls in the air. When it when it, in tarot, this card is depicted with the giving of alms, there's that discomfort of like, who is actually the giver, who is the receiver. It can be very uncomfortable to receive. And giving can sometimes come from this place of righteousness, piety, like it, it's, it's those deeper, the ick, when we think about claiming what we want, when we think about truly being present in our connections with others, what does that require of us? And what emotions come up when you think about, here I am claiming what I want? Do you feel greedy, selfish, dangerous, embarrassed? All of that stuff can come up. When you think about very, being very open and present in your connections, celebrating the small moments, being open to new partnerships, that can feel very vulnerable. You can relive past experiences of rejection and abandonment. So that's what this card is speaking to. It would be great if we could just sit centered and calm with all the spheres of our life in a nice little order. But to actually activate this in your life, a lot more people would do it if it was easy, right? If you didn't have to work through the layers of stuff. So that's how I read that card. Number five for our full moon and Scorpio reading. How can we cultivate our passions? Oh, just this reading is just everything today. The hanged woman, which in in a lot of tarot decks is the hanged man. I have a non-binary deck that's the hanged one. So in this deck, my Mystic Mondays deck, it's the hanged woman. And look at her chilling on her aerial silks. It's not uncomfortable. Some people hear the hanged man, the hanged woman, and they're like, oh gosh, no, no, no. This is a voluntary, a voluntary upside down repose. Um, the original hanged man was based off of the tale of Odin who hung himself upside down, suspended himself upside down on the tree of life to receive the wisdom of the runes. He wanted to learn the runes and the runic wisdom. And they sifted up from underneath Yggdrasil, the world tree. And so Odin just hung himself up there and he was either gonna die up there or he was gonna get that knowledge. And there's multiple stories across cultures of that kind of willing sacrifice that comes from a place of deep desire and devotion. I will receive what I want and I will wait here until I do. Hmm. How can I cultivate my passions? Figure out what it is that you're willing to hang upside down for. <laughs> Or just hang out and you'll get clear on it and maybe this woman you know some people be like that's uncomfortable but she loves her aerial silks so she's chilling she's chilling what what would you really like devote your entire life to what feels so vital so necessary so desired by you that you would you would do that that you would surrender to it in that way it is a card of surrender. So also if there's like, you're like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what I would devote myself to. That's why you have to start small. Start listening to what you want in the little moments. I need to pee right now. I'm gonna go pee and not make myself hold it. That kind of thing. Listen to the body. The body knows. The body will tell you what it wants, but we have to rebuild, cultivate trust with our bodies and our bodies will lead us to our deeper passions. Our hearts will too. Our minds will as well like we have lots of different things we're passionate about in different layers but we have to be willing to surrender 
to honor what is being asked, asked of us, even when it turns our world upside down, or at least our viewpoint. Alrighty, so that's how we cultivate our passions. Chill out a bit. Flip the perspective. Listen. Go to a deep, receptive listening. And then, only then, once you feel this is the thing I most, most want, then act. Alrighty. And then the final card in our Scorpio reading. What do I need to release? in order to experience transformation. So again, I'm pulling for the collective. So what do we need to release? If you are watching this, this is for you. What do we need to release in order to experience deep transformation? The hermit. Oh, wow. We are really being called into connection, y'all. So the hermit is a card of obviously some solitude following our own inner light, um, really spending time away from people, which we've been doing, and, and in a more solitary space. In order to experience deep transformation though, we have to let go of the fact that we think we have to do it on our own. And that message came home real strong for me about a month ago, my guides were like, stop trying to do everything on your own. Like, yes, like you're great at holding space for others and facilitating healing and, and asking questions and listening and all of that, offering insight. But like, you need some support. And so every week since then, for about at least four weeks now, I've made sure to receive a session from another practitioner. And that's why I think this is showing up where we need to be more present in our connections. All right. This doesn't mean you have to leave your house and go out in a big crowd of people. That's not happening right now. Right. But we have to let go of the sense that it's all on us to figure out our life. It's all on us to navigate our own transformation. There are resources, there are support. We're here to be a collective. So we're really, I mean, this reading is really asking us to get a lot deeper, a lot clearer, really working through the layers that block us from true connection and a true awareness of and attentiveness to our deepest desires. It's, it's a lot. I'm telling y'all, Scorpio, don't, don't fuck around, okay? Scorpio demands truth. This is why my Scorpio child it will always be one of my greatest teachers. He was supposed to be a Sagittarius. He was born on the full moon two weeks early. Full moons are powerful. Scorpio is powerful. It is the planet that works with power more than any other. It demands a personal integrity and awareness of our own power and the power of our desire. It demands truth, rawness, realness, depth. This is what is being illuminated right now. So really get use this energy, use this week to get real with yourself, to look into the really uncomfortable stuff that we kind of, it's easier to just let it hang out there. All right, we're about to have a Venus retrograde that's not gonna fuck around either. It is a time to be really looking what is blocking me from what I most want and the relationships I most desire. What is blocking me from what my heart came here? Like literally me following the beat of my heart. What did my heart come here to express, to do, to have me experience and show up for? Like if we haven't been doing it as fully as we can, now is the time. These next three years, our whole global collective is going through a massive, unprecedented transformation, at least in our conscious human minds. And it's not, it's not a joke. This is happening. It's, ha it's happening right now, okay? So like, be here. Reach out and get support. Go to the most uncomfortable spaces in the gentlest ways you can. All right, that's, that stuff is gonna be coming up more and more and more and more. So let's work with it consciously. 
Alrighty, so that's our full moon in Scorpio reading. Again, we do a meditation group tonight at 7.30, so message me if you would like to join. And then we have a raffle this week for $10 tickets to win this amazing 14 pound stone. Hop over to Seed to Star. Um, I'll post a link again. I already shared a link yesterday. But the proceeds support a local nonprofit that helps trauma impacted youth. And part of the proceeds support Seed to Star as well so that we can keep on going, <laughs> even when we're not there. <laughs> oh, we love y'all and appreciate all the support already. And um, good luck. Good luck with all this this week, okay? <laughs> Reach out if you need any support. Reach out to each other. Check in on each other. If you don't have the bandwidth, curl up outside under a tree and hug it or take a bath. Scorpio's a water sign, so get in the water. Alrighty, love y'all. Bye!